welcome back to my channel. It is Megan here. Today I'm going to do my bi-weekly budget number one. Um, this is from the 29th to the 12th of December. If you watched my last video, this will make sense to you as I set this up um, in my last video. Um, so go watch that before you watch this so it just makes a little bit more sense. So what I do here is I go back to my December um, monthly view. These are all my bills that I have to do. This is going to help me plan my bi-weekly budget as well as our monthly budget from um, previous video as well. So let's just get right into it. So I zoomed you guys in a little bit so you can see a little bit more. So let's just go for the dates. This is the 29th to the 12th. I always put a number one so I either know if it's number one or number two. Up here I always do my income first so I'll write income. I know that my husband gets paid so let's put hubby and then I also get paid within this time period so we'll put Megan as well. And then now we go over to our December budget. I budgeted that my husband makes $3,000 in the whole month. So I budget that my husband's gonna make $1,500. And I get paid um, $586 every two weeks from my maternity leave. So that is half of uh, $1,172. And then my child tax benefit, as you can see, will be um, on the 20th, but this year it's actually on the 13th. So that will be on my bi-weekly budget number two. So this total is $2,086. So my next section is going to be the bills section right here. This is where my monthly calendar will come in. So as you can see over here, anything in orange and red are going to be paid in this bi-weekly budget. Um, this isn't a bill, but this is a expense that comes up that I need to know about. So that is going to be paid with my paycheck here in red, but that will be in a different section rather than the bills because we're just focusing on bills right now. So bills is here. First off, we have the Jeep. This is a bi-weekly payment of 267.33. Our rent is 500. That is half, I pay a thousand, um, but I keep, I save half of it in our savings account so that when it comes time to pay it, it's not a huge bill. We have Jeep insurance on the fifth. Jeep insurance on the fifth. That is 167.80. Already having this done, it makes it very easy to come and do a bi-weekly budget. Um, each step of my budget pages all make it really easy to budget um, if you complete them. So electrical is next. That's due on the 6th. That's 135. And then the last bill we have is Wi-Fi. It is due on the 8th. I just have Wi-Fi, I don't have cable, and I have it with TELUS. Also, I live in Canada, if you're wondering, um, in British Columbia, so if my numbers are a little bit different than yours, then that is why. The totals for my bills is $1,150.33. I did that off camera so it was just easier for um, this video to go along. So I zoomed out again so you guys could see this bottom part. This is where our monthly budget comes back in so you can see all of our stuff here, um, all of our expenses. This is for the entire month of December. So what I do for each bi-weekly budget is I cut it right in half. So we'll just do that. Write expenses here. Oh, and I forgot to mention these are all of my budget sheets. You can find them on Etsy at my budget shop is Budget Queen Shop. So check that out if you're interested in any of these. Um, these are my blank monthly budgets and blank bi-weekly budget pages, just so you know. So we have groceries here. 
half of 800 is 400. That might seem like a lot to you, but where I live, groceries are very expensive and that is actually, um, <laughs> on the low end of things, we spend about $1,000 a month on groceries, but we don't usually eat out um, and we don't usually go out of the house um, at all. And of course, <laughs> as I was talking, I messed up. So half of 50 is 25. And eating out, I did give us a little bit of money since it is um, December. You never know with family coming in town. So $15 is half of 30. My husband's spending, this is like more of a account um, buffer because he transfers me all the money into my account. We pretty much share accounts and he holds the debit card all the time. But um, in his account, he has um, $20 for his spending, but it's also kind of a buffer. Whereas I get no spending money because I don't leave the house. So you can kind of see why he gets that much um, per bi-weekly period. Kids is $25. Household, we just got a bunch of stuff for the house, so I don't think we'll be needing a ton. So I did that for $30, so 15 for this bi-weekly period. And other, as you guys know, it is going to be the Christmas season soon, so I thought just bump that up a little bit so we have some extra spending if it comes up at all. So half of 1,100 is 550. Hopefully we stick around that. So the debt column, we don't have to pay any debts. Um, they're not due until next bi-weekly budget. Um, for savings, we are probably going to leave that until the end of the month. Um, it's only $100, so nothing too crazy. And then other, we have that Christmas party that I showed you guys on the other page. So um, I'll actually zoom you guys in for this. They're all zoomed in, so other is Christmas. Christmas and the Christmas party. So the Christmas party, I budgeted 150. Um, that's like a lot. <laughs> there is a silent auction though, but I don't usually buy into that. Um, it's just mainly buying drinks, but dinner is free. This is just what my husband said um, to budget as, like if we go bowling after, because we usually do that. Um, just to be on the safe side, we budgeted 150, but I promise you we won't spend that much. So what I did to get my Christmas balance is I subtracted our income to our bills and expenses and this Christmas party. And what I got was 200 $35.67 so that was just the remaining and um, that is what I did for that so this total is $385.67 so now in my total section here we write income bills expenses I leave these two blank since they're blank up here and then other so now we write in the totals you guys can't see the total up here I don't think so 2086 subtract $1,150.33 subtract $550 subtract $385.67 and that equals to zero because we want to have a zero balance. Tell your money where to go so you have a zero balance at the end. Um, if you don't, it'll just make it like a hundred times more confusing. That is pretty much it you guys. Um, that is it for this bi-weekly budget number one. Hopefully we are able to stick to this budget. It is um, pretty easy one so hopefully um, we have the right mindset to be spending less money um, like through our expenses so hopefully this works out I will be doing weekly check-ins and then I'll do a results video um, probably on the 
12th for the results of this bi-weekly budget. And then on the 13th, I will be making a bi-weekly budget number two um, based on these results and the rest of December. So I hope you guys are excited for my upcoming videos. If you are new, please subscribe down below. And if you are interested in any of these um, budget pages, they are from my Etsy shop, Budget Queen Shop. So go check it out. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. If you're walking, if you're walking.